Welcome to the 1980s, guys. We made it. Well, we didn't make it to our destination. We're, we're probably about 30 minutes out from our destination, but uh, we made it to the 1980s decade. And me and Buck right now are going crazy on Coca-Cola, Pepsi. We've just, I've got five open bottles in my truck right now. We're just trying to stay alive. It's been a long drive here, but we're doing good. Buck, you on the CB, Big Four? At the Big Ten Four there. Slow down for Slow the corner. Down. I mean, I knew Wisconsin was hilly, but I didn't think it was this hilly. My gosh. That well, John... Clearly, you never owned a map. Well, hey, at least we're almost there. Yeah, that's that's definitely a plus. If if I'm going off my estimates, we should be in West B in probably 15, 20 minutes. Um, why does that sign say we're in Wyoming? You had the map upside down, Water, didn't you? Water, Wyoming. You had the map upside down, didn't you? Hold on. I got it right here. Oh! We took I-80 west. We were supposed to go east. I had the map upside down. How? So... I... Hang on a minute. We, I, we I instead of going east, we went ten I hours. I can't even believe to see the amount of BS that's going on here. Instead of going ten hours east, I had the map upside down. We went ten hours west. Wouldn't the font be upside down? Who needs who needs to read when you got a drawing of what way to go? Yeah, but the letters would be upside down. It just said I, I, the lady just told me to take I eighty, and I just I, I I apologize. I'm a little dyslexic. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, so you're gonna? What lady told you to go east? The lady in Des Moines. She said I, we got to I-80, and she was like, she was like, take I-80. We drove ten hours the opposite direction. There, yeah, we. There's cool mountains. Yeah, and twenty hours worth from going right back. Might as well say hi to Chet in the nursing home while we're at it. Yeah, we could stop by Chet's. That would be give us a good chance to see Chet again on the way back. There's deer in the street. That's cool. Ain't that cool? Look, there, there's deer in Wyoming. Pretty cool. Wow. Maybe we can get a cabin and stay the night and drink some hot cocoa or something. Just when I thought you couldn't be any dumber, you did something like this. And this time you didn't redeem yourself. Oh, my. This is why we did. This is why mom never liked you. She, come on. She's. This is why she mom likes. doesn't love you. No, because you did all this stuff as a stupid kid. She never trusted you with a map for a reason. Well, okay, okay. I've had it. You have the map. You control the route now. Yeah, thank you. You, you control Maybe the route. Maybe for this time we'll actually get there and in these decent time frame. Yeah, we better hit the road. It's going to be a long drive. Hey, hey tell you what. I'll, bu I'll, buy you, I'll buy you a Pepsi. How about you buy me a tank of diesel? We made it to Wisconsin, Buck. Oh, geez, Louise, heck no. You know what happens? This is why you let me hold the map there, bud. Yeah, you know. This is what we're talking about. Diesel. Does that place look familiar to you, right? I swear. A little I, bit. Something about that place. It looks real familiar. I huh. mean, uh, the area kind of reminds me of some stuff, but I can't tell if it's, if it's, it's been a few years since I've been out in this area. Yeah. Must be a pretty rich part of the area, though. These sheds look pretty new. Yeah. Oh, everybody's got new new sheds, new pickups, everything. Must have been stuck in a time capsule over there back in Iowa. Yeah. You see that shed and that dryer set up over to the left? Yeah. That shed looks like it was built in 85 or something. That is nice. But we bought a... We bought a farm. An acreage came up for sale. Some land came up around it. And we bought a farm. Um, so, it's... Some hilly ground is all contoured, so it's going to be a whole different type of farming than I've ever done. But there's some good ground out in Wisconsin here, and that's what we're chasing. We're chasing the golden ground, the the 150 bushel corn ground. That is some good dirt. And I can just see the farm right up there. And there's our farm. It's, 
it's nothing crazy big, but I'll give you guys a tour of it. We're gonna add on to it, and we're gonna improve, because the house is outdated. The only thing is this fence. We may have to pull this fence, because if we're coming through with wide equipment, gosh, I don't know if it's gonna work. There's Buck pulling around with the equipment. It's got two new bins. These are two-year-old bins, suka-up bins. They both have dryers on them. Um, these are gonna work good. We may put, we may expand out here too, which is nice, because we can expand the whole farm out here to give a tour. And those hold, I think, close to 20,000 bushel each. Maybe 10, 15,000 bushel, the realtor said. Something like that. The house, it's old. Um, it needs remodeled bad. It's kind of a mess. We're either gonna tear down this house and build a new one, or we'll remodel this house. If we tear it down, I'm thinking we may put it out here. We may put our new house out here, make a driveway right here. I'm not sure, but we'll see with that. It's got a 60 by 120 machine shed, two years old again. Like a lot of these buildings are really nice. I think this was built in 83. So, super nice. Got some weeds growing through the back. We'll, we'll fix that. Oh, I'll push this door open here too. Open up the door, come on. Here's the dealio though. I get to keep the 4020. Not the 4020. I get to keep the 5020. At your place? Yeah. We gotta meet the neighbors too. Yeah. We got a lot of shed space though. So we got this 60 by 120. And then we have a open. This is gonna work good too for shed space for hay or something like that too. Um, I don't know the dim dimensions on this. I think it's a 40. I think it's or I think it might be a 30 by 60 or 30 by 70, something like that. Then we got a commodity shed too. Perfect, we kind of have this. And we have a fully operational dairy barn too. This thing is pretty new again. Um, it was used for a little bit and this is gonna be perfect because uh, we'll expand into the dairy industry. They have open pasture out here, a lot of open pasture and then we have open pasture for a cow calf herd way down on the other side of this hill. There's 240 acres total here and we still have money to buy some more acres way over there too. Now we may, depending on it, we may also put up a feedlot somewhere out here. I was thinking along the roadway somewhere out here where it's flat. That way we can get a feedlot. Then we can have our dairy operation going. It work perfect. I don't know though. We'll, we'll see We'll see on that one. Now I don't know about you, but I gotta make a run over to my place and drop off that stuff. Well, I wanna see your place. Oh, I know I gotta. You get the. It's ain't anything pretty. I've. You get the down I payment was... put on it? Yeah, it's actually not that big. It's, it's a fairly big chunk of land. But I'm gonna have to put up a new shed because the barn that's there, it's 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 mainly a display piece. It's it looks nice, but it doesn't really have much storage. I think it was more of a horse once. It's got all the stalls on the inside. You know what we that ought to do? That was a very very nice cattle barn. We gotta go check out that uh, John Deere dealer. There's a yeah. there's a manager posi There's a a store manager position open at that one too. I was thinking I don't maybe know you if I want to take on that big of a job. I might look into more of at least possibly a shop guy. Well, shop guy right now might work into sales, depending mm -hmm. on whether or not it works out. That way I can at least have a side job. It Extra makes income. Me, yeah, and I could possibly get an employee discount. Oh, yeah. You see those new 4440s coming out? 4640? Uh -huh. You see where I'm going with this? Yeah, yeah. 89, what about an 8960? 1989, 8960, seen at the dealer. Ooh, that'd be a nice tractor to have. Yeah, yeah, it would. Still doesn't compare to my 5020, though. Yeah, there's a, uh, th there's a 160, 160 acres for sale, just south of here, along the border fence, coming for auction soon, too. Thought it'd be nice 160 to buy. Check this out on the map here, plat map. 66, 160 acres here. You have the map here. the right direction now, Ding Dong. Yeah, yeah, oh, of course. I got the plat map the right direction. 160 acres right south of the farm. Right here. Check this out. 160 acres right here. Look at this. Beautiful dirt. We are going to have to start upgrading some equipment too. Just because we are we got a lot more acres than we previously ran. I think Buck's going to probably head out to his place. We'll follow him out there. He's going to take the 5020 with him too. There we go. Now the crops that are on it, we're actually gonna harvest. We bought from the previous owner. So all these crops, it's August right now. We're gonna be harvesting these crops too. He's got a crazy long driveway. It's a little hilly, just a little. I like it, 
but we could put a different paint job on the semi. We're gonna have to. I I, hate I feel the white bad frame because Chet. Thing. I mean, when Chet left in his will for us, I don't know. I feel like we should keep it the same color just to remember Chet. But at the same time, it'd be cool to at least, at least paint the frame. Paint different. the frame, yeah. Paint the frame. But it'll be a good farm semi. Oh yeah, most definitely. Especially when we're tracking cattle. Oh yeah, that'll work good. You need a smoke? Yeah, probably wouldn't it hurt. Would, yeah, light one up for the new house and the new farm. Pretty much. Let me get by. Uh... Oh shit. Oh, that's nice. I like that. <laughs> oh, it's been a minute. <coughs> yeah, haven't had smoke this whole drive. Ooh. Someone break out the whiskey. Maybe there's some whiskey in the house or something. Who knows? Dude, this is Chet's truck. There's probably 16 yeah, bottles Chet probably the back of the sleep. Holy moly, oh, we yeah. got <laughs> moonshine out the rear under here. Check the toolbox, too. Probably a lot in there from old Chet. Chet was a good one. I don't know if you guys know this, but Chet did pass away two years ago. Um, and he left us his semi. He knew we loved this thing, so Chet was a heck of a guy. Um, left his semi for us, so we inherited his semi. Ah, oh, I suck it good. Alright, where the heck you got this thing? You forgot your cane in the truck, Chet. I don't need that stuff. You work in this field for long enough, you realize the pain don't mean no thing. And just so you know, smoking is absolutely horrible. We just joke about it because it's the 80s, and that was an 80s thing where people smoked a lot, and they thought it was normal. It is not normal at all. It is, it is unhealthy. Well, what do you say we head down to the local bar? Meet some neighbors. Wouldn't hurt. Probably. Get to know get to know some people. I wonder where our, uh, which one of our cousins is out here? Oh, Jake? I think it's Jake. Yeah. Something, and he's got a... Isn't that on mom's side of the family? Yeah. Yeah, he's out here. Yeah, I think so. I think he has his... Keen. He's with his friend. Yeah, but I can't remember if we... Are we related to him somehow? Or is he just a friend of Jake's? I don't think so. It's like a second cousin type thing, you know? I don't know. Makes we'll, my head want to think too much. We'll get a hold of him. See, I might take the charger, but I kind of need a lift back to the house. Jump in the truck. Jumping in the truck. Well, thanks for watching this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Next episode, we're going to get all of our equipment set up. And I'm going to redo this farm a little bit. Get things how I want it. Maybe move some grain bins around. Sell this house. I, I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.